Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we back out here in the garden. I know you guys remember last year when we overwintered those canna lilies. Well, it's springtime and we back out here. We're gonna plant those canna lilies up. We're gonna show you the techniques we usually use to get those canna lily bulbs started. So, you know, stick around with me, man. This video definitely gonna help you and it's gonna help you get your canna lilies to like seven feet or even 10 feet plus, all right? These are the candle lilies in the box. You guys remember as I store these box with some newspaper or whatever I had, I've been storing these candle lilies all winter and I've been checking on them every single week during the winter time, making sure they're good, making sure, you know, everything was fine with them, you know? Just gotta check in with them at least twice a month, you know? You don't wanna, you don't want your stuff to rot or nothing like that. So if you come close, you can see these candle lily bulbs they remain the same from last year and even now you can see them now trying to pop up this is why i said this is the best time to plant them when you see the eyes look at the eyes they sh they're trying to form right now put them in the ground right away but i'm gonna show you what i usually do for my can lily bulb and these bulbs are the australian can lily you know these are the one that comes up all red and pinkish looking these ones look lovely, lovely. Y'all y'all remember these, man? Y'all remember. So I'm gonna show you guys my technique. I got a little container over here. See right here? I'm gonna put these bulbs in there. I'm gonna put all of them in there. I want you guys to see this. You don't wanna miss this. All this is from last year. All this is good stuff, man. Come on, y'all. Look at this. Look at the eyes on this baby. All right, cool. What you want to do is full. All right, I, I ain't missing none. All right, so. What you want to do is full a bucket, if you have a bucket at home, with water. Then, you know, I got one of these from Richard and Barry. You know, you have them left over. You just soak your candle lily bulbs. Just soak them in there. You're basically waking them up. See that? Soak the bulbs, people. Don't put them in the ground dry. You don't want to do that, man. Just give them a nice soaking. Believe me, it's gonna wake them up. This helped me every single year. Check this out. You don't gotta soak them for too long. Then you raise it up. Trust me, water trigger a lot of stuff in these plants. A lot of stuff. Hmm? What's that? It's candle lily bulbs, mama. All right, guys, so this is the second batch of candle lilies that we did last year. You guys see this? See the eyes? They look dry, they look very light, but they're alive. Don't throw them away, man. See, they're alive. They are trying to come up. They looking for dirt, man. I want to give these roots some water. That's what they need. And most people just throw them in the ground, you know, and then wonder why. Candle lily bulbs not growing. You know, when you're thirsty, these things been hibernating all winter. Of course, they're gonna be thirsty. Gotta give them some water. Look at that. Oh, man, I got a lot of this. All right, we good. We gonna we gonna dump this in the water. Give it a nice soaking. See that? You don't want to. You don't want to drown them. You soak them just to wake them up. Like I stated earlier, it make a big difference. Check this out, y'all. There we go. You don't want to drown them. You don't want to leave them overnight or anything like that. Or leave them like three, four hours in the water. Just a quick waking. That's it, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Then we move on to the real action. All right guys, you guys remember last year, I planted my can of lilies in a small container, a small 10 gallon container. That container could not contain these can of lilies. They grew massively, they grew out of control, they grew over seven foot. And this year, I want to double that size. I want, I want them to grow over 10 feet, man. So I got some really big containers this year. I got some 20 gallons, see? Look at them. 
they're not heavy but they're 20 gallon i want to see what the candle lilies can do to these this year the, these containers are really big i'm gonna put the australian candle lilies in here and the the mixed variety candle lily and the other one and this year i'm hoping you know we get double the size or even if we get up to eight feet you know i'm hoping for that but i'm going to show you guys what i usually do to get them up to that kind of size all right so this is the the soil that i usually use it's a straight organic right here you, know, you can always pick one of these soil up on Home depot Let me just get this gloves on. All right, all right, we all suited up. So we're gonna rip that up. I'll pour that in here. 20 gallon. It's gonna make it very heavy. So make sure you have somebody strong around to move this thing. That's the thing with candle lilies. You don't want to stick these in the, the ground or your containers too far down. About six inches, four to six inches, you can stick them down. So this is perfectly good for me. What I usually do, I usually sprinkle some of the slow release food from proven winter. All gardeners know about this, the slow release. And I tip it off with a little bit of bone meal. Y'all know what's up. Put some bone meal in there. I mix that baby up. I don't mix it up all the way down. I try to keep it right there because I know. That's the six inches. From here to here is probably about four inch. So I know. And well, and that's another thing. When you plant your candle lilies, make sure it's, you know, just the root side, you can see it. You see the bulb trying to shoot up? Let's put it down like that. Let's put it down. Same thing over here. Because sometimes this thing can be real confusing, see? The roots on the bottom. But one thing, they always find their way up. They always find their way up. Look at that big beauty right there. I don't like you. Wait to see you guys shoot up. See that? I'm separating. I'm gonna put all of them in this 20 gallon container. Now I have another one right here. Some smaller pieces. slow release. Now you just want to cover your bowl. Just cover them up. Always remember four to six inches. There you go. These chunks, you just want to get them chunks out of there. Within three. Three weeks, you're gonna see sign of these candle lilies popping out. You're gonna see them popping out and over. See that, y'all? This is perfect. You don't gotta pat it down. You don't gotta do anything. Just leave them. If you want, you can water it. You know. But besides that, this this is good to go. And I guarantee you, it's gonna be like a ton of weight. Yep. Yep. It's heavy. But we good, man. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, so we back at the second container and this one, I got some little helpers with me. They wanna get involved and they wanna plant these can of lilies with me. So 
You guys could come on. Let's go, little world. All right. We're going to plan this can lily up. All right, girls. First, we're going to do, check it out. Look at daddy. We're going to put one down, like so. Take one and put it down. Make sure the root side is down, okay? Yeah, you can pick it up. You can take this one. These are the can of lilies. Yeah, if you want, you can cover it. Ooh, it's all gonna come out. Ooh, you took the big one, Chabao. Here, take this one. You can put that one down, okay? The roots is gonna save for later, but not for Jax. Yeah, it's not gonna save for Jax. Okay. See? He's gonna choke. Root side down. We wanna get it all down, okay, girls? Mm -hmm. So it can grow really, really big for us. Okay. There you go. There you go, Mama. You put it down. Be careful, okay? There you go. You can put it down. Like big root. I you never. Got the last one. These things are. Oh, they look like they have root on both sides. <laughs> it's hard to pick where where to drop it down. You know, it's gonna be packed with dirt. All right, girls. Okay. Okay, we gotta put them down. Okay. All right. Daddy gonna get the dirt. Okay. Let me get the soil. Girls, you got to break it up. See? Look what I'm doing. Break it up like that. Yeah, break it up. There you go. You break it up. You got it. I break it up. There you go. Don't worry about it. You're a little dirty, yes? <laughs> it's inside your shirt? The dirt in your shirt? <laughs> All right, let me get some soil in there. Yep, a little bit more. Alright, cool. Alright, Charlotte, bring it inside the container. Bring it inside the container. Just crush it up. Okay, okay, okay. You do too much, Chelsea. Who don't that? Same thing we did to the first container, we basically did to the second, y'all. Yeah, I found a rock for you. Yeah, right here. You could, you could throw it in the garbage, Charlotte. I don't want to throw it in the garbage. All right, ready. All right, guys, you guys watch us overwinter these can lilies. You guys watch us repot these can lilies. And we can't wait to show you guys the results. About two to three months from now, these can lilies gonna look beautiful. You know, we really appreciate you guys being here today. And man, I like that bird being here today. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, notification bell so you can see more of our videos. And I know you guys love us. So we out.